I see some flashing lights. It's in the alley? I wonder what it is. I shouldn't look. It could only be trouble. Who's going to mess with me, though? I'm a man. If anything happens, I'll be able to protect myself or run away. I take a peek around the corner. Huh? I guess I got worked up over nothing. There's nobody here. Now what's making that flashing light? A large rectangular pink light pulsates from dark red bricks in the wall. What is that? I cautiously approach it. It's not a door. How peculiar. I touch it with my hand. A ripple goes across the bricks as if they were water. I stick my hand in all the way this time, then pull it out. It looks like it's okay, but strangely, it feels like I have lotion on. Something feels safe about this. I plunge my head through the wall. It was as if I was in my world exactly where my body was. I look down at my hand. That's not my hand. This hand is feminine, with painted fingernails, and way more delicate than mine. I stick a leg through. Oh my god, there's high heels, smooth legs. Well, why not? Let's go all the way through. I look into a puddle on the ground and examine my beautiful hair, my exposed collarbone, my gorgeous outfit, my sexy heels, my curvy, beautiful, feminine figure. There is no doubt I have been transformed into a woman. I was planning on going to the club to do some dancing. I wonder if the same club will be here. I head down the sidewalk, notice something a little different. My hips are swaying as I walk. It feels natural, but different. Is it the heels, or is it this new body? Either way, I love the clicking of my heels. I love the way my outfit fills and shifts as I move, as I walk. I recognize the buildings as I pass them. Maybe I am in the same world. Am I the only thing that is different? I see a group of people ahead on the sidewalk. One of them takes notice. It's my friend. I give a nervous smile. Timid that I may be recognized. He makes eye contact with me and gives me a soft smile. Holy cow. Did he not recognize me? I must be in a completely different body. It feels like I'm in the body that I always dreamt of. This feels so right. I feel so confident, so feminine, so perfect. I can feel my confidence soar, as if I can be exactly who I always felt like on the inside, but even more beautiful than I ever imagined. The club I wanted to go to comes into view. I see a long line and a bouncer check IDs and preventing people from going in. I step into the line. The bouncer waves me down, saying to come to him. Oh no, does he know me? This has never happened to me before. He nonchalantly says to me, you're good, and unlocks a velvet rope to let me in. This is bizarre. Was I let in because I'm hot? No cover charge, no ID check, no waiting? A girl could get used to this. The club is packed, and I can feel the bass of the music pulsate through my body with each beat. I need to calm my nerves a little and make my way to the bar. I'll have a vodka spritz. The bartender acknowledges, then I feel someone slide in next to me and says, Make it too. The bartender nods. Well, isn't that kind of you? For what do I owe the pleasure? He says, just celebrating the presence of the goodness in front of me. I grab my drink and tell the man, You're welcome. I walk away with such glee, knowing that I owe him nothing, and I can feel his contented smile to have just talked to me as I walk away. The way my body moves on the dance floor feels fluid, smooth, deliberate, and enticing. I catch a glimpse of my perfect man from across the dance floor. The dim lights shine on him just enough to know that's perfection at its finest. He must have sensed my gaze. As he locks eyes with me, I bashfully look away. I can feel my cheeks fill with heat as I blush from him catching my eye. He makes his way over to me, 